let's get started with React Basics. Now, if you've taken any of my previous courses where I've taught React, or you're not a React beginner, and you've built some applications before with React, then you can actually just skim through these videos or skip this entire section, as this section covers the React basics. We're gonna build our first React application from scratch using something called Create React App, and then we're going to deploy it to GitHub Pages. Again, if you're completely new to React, then you have to finish this section to move on with the course. However, for those with a bit of experience, you might find this section a little bit easy. Determine for yourself which direction you wanna go. Remember, our goal here is to build these basics so that we can build our giant application, our e-commerce platform using React. Now, in this section, we're gonna learn a few things. However, we're going to make a few assumptions here. First, we're going to assume you know how to use your terminal or your command prompt. And you can also use any code editor you want. You can use Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text, or any other popular JavaScript developer environments. Now, this section is going to be a code along. So I highly recommend if you're following along to have your terminal or command prompt set up if you're on Windows, terminal if you're on Mac or Linux system, and have your code editor so you follow along. Now, over the next couple of videos, we're going to install Node, if you don't have it already, and also the Create React app that is going to allow us to write React. I do wanna make a few notes though. First, with this course, as long as you have a version 10 or higher for Node, you're going to be fine. If you don't have a version of Node on your system that is 10 or lower, then I recommend updating Node, or if not, you can use something called NVM. And NVM is a Node version manager. So it's a simple way in the terminal for us to switch Node versions. Now, this is something you can go through on your own. The easiest way to do things is to just simply download Node from the node.js.org website. Now, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to actually install something called Create React App. And if I go to reactjs.org here and I go to Docs, under the Create a New React App, we have this thing called Create React App, which we're gonna talk about in the upcoming video. Now, the one thing I wanna mention is that you'll see this command NPX. And NPX is actually new and comes with version of NPM 5.2. So if your NPM version is lower than this, this command won't work. So you might wanna update your NPM version as well. Now, NPX, for those that haven't seen it before, runs a command of a package without installing it explicitly. So what does that mean? Well, before we had NPX, this is what we had to do. You see here that this is the current version of React based on when you're watching the video, you might have versions that are higher. But again, this course will work with any versions higher than 16.8. If I go here and go to an older version of React, let's say 15.6, if I click on documentation, and then let's do docs, and then finally we look at the installation, you'll see that we had to run npm install globally create React app. And then we ran the create React app command to create our app. MPX allows us to not install this global version of create React app and just simply run that one command to create our app. All right, now let's go back. If for some reason during this section, you are unable to get this started, there is another option where you can use this code sandbox.io which I'll link to, that actually allows you within the browser to use React online. Now, one last thing. We're gonna get started and go step-by-step step into building our React application. But I also wanna point something out to you. You see, when we study or learn libraries or frameworks or tools like React, the best place to learn about something is often the documentation. 
And most tutorials don't mention this fact that, well, we have the official React documentation that explains how React works inside and out. And most tutorials that you see online are taught using this basic template. So remember, if you ever have questions, this is always the best place to start. Now, we're going to be covering some main concepts in React here. But remember that the way you learn a library is not like reading a dictionary where you just learn every single thing that this library gives you. The thing to understand that we'll go into later on in this course is how to build bigger and bigger applications, how to architect your app. So that instead of learning something like a dictionary one by one, we learn the principles and the concepts that allow us to do advanced things and build real life applications, something that I'm really excited to do in this course. So enough talk, it's time for us to get started. We're gonna start setting up our environment in the next video. We're gonna build our first app and it's gonna be a fun one. I'll see you in that one, bye-bye.